In this video, I want to go over some of what the results mean here in terms of the, the hotspot analysis for fatalities. So as we can see, it's much different than the optimized hotspot analysis where uh, before this was uh, hot spots with confidence and here we're going to see other roads kind of these seem to be more uh, highways and whatnot. So when you create the uh, hotspot analysis, if we open up the attribute table, we'll notice a few things. And the first thing we want to kind of focus is on the, the Z score. And so a Z score, if it is high and positive, that indicates that there are clustering. And if it's high negative Z score, then it indicates that there's uh, clustering of low values or uh, cold spots. So then we can also look at the data. If we go here, we go to charts and we'll create a histogram. And we'll select uh, the Z score. And we can see that. We can see there's a lot of values here. The most of them are negative, meaning they're cold spots. And that kind of correlates well with all the cold spots we're seeing here. Positive values we can see here. There's much fewer. These are the numbers. And we can see that they're occurring probably on these major highways there. We can also see that the mean Z score is negative 9.23 and the median is negative 10.5. And so both the mean and the median are negative, which suggests that on average that there are more cold spots uh, than hot spots. And that's exactly what we are seeing here. So this is kind of teaches you how to interpret the results. Then you could also go to explore statistics and it shows you such a, the same thing we were just looking at. It shows you the, the uh, histogram we are just looking at, the mins, the max, the means, standard deviation, and median, the counts, and um, some other kind of data in there. So learning how to understand what the data is saying, as opposed to just kind of the graphical um, report is helpful. Another value that we can look at is the p-value. And a p-value of 0 0.05 is statistically significant. So if we can look at that as well, we can create a chart and we can create a histogram and we can get the p-value. And the mean p-value is 0 0.01. So we are statistically significant for our results. 